On behalf of Navrachna University Vadodara, I welcome you all to this very momentous occasion, the Diamond Jubilee of the Department of Atomic Energy, Government of India. It is indeed a matter of great honor for us all at Navrachna University to be able to host this event along with the Bhava Atomic Research Center, Mumbai, and the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, Surat. The seminar today aims at a public awareness and science outreach program titled Nuclear Technology Shaping the Future of the Nation to disseminate information about the nation's atomic energy program. We begin this seminar with an inspirational poem by Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore. Where the mind is without fear. The original poem bears the title Prathana, that is prayer. This poem is a prayer to a universal father figure, God. The poet wishes to be awakened to a heaven where the mind can work fearlessly and the spirit can hold its head high, where one can acquire knowledge with freedom of choice, where the big world of man is not fragmented or restricted to small, mutually exclusive compartments, where actions flow in the form of various streams moving from success to success, where petty conventions do not stagnate the course of judgment, where manhood is not peaced, where God himself leads us in all acts, all thoughts, and all sources of delight. We need a strong motivation from God to be elevated to that heaven. I now invite Sudheen Bordwal, student BTEC program, Navrachna University, to read out an excerpt of this poem, which is from the Gitanjali. Sudheen. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depths of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sands of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father let my country awake. Thank you, Sudin. With these inspirational words, we now commence the proceedings of the seminar. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Srimati Tejal Amin, Chairperson, Navrachna Education Society. Srimati Tejal Amin has been closely associated with education, industry, and social cultural activities in Vadodara since the last 30 years. As chairperson of the 47-year-old Navrachna Education Society, she has driven its qualitative expansion from a single institution to multiple institutions today, the most recent being Navrachna University, Vadodara. Mrs. Tejal Amin is associated with public initiatives like the Baroda Marathon. She is secretary and founder trustee, Ghar Gharika, a non-profit organization devoted to promoting interest in the performing arts. Not only these, Mrs. Tejal Amin is director, Jyoti Limited, vice chair, CEO forum of Baroda Management Association, and member, Managing Committee of Federation of Gujarat, Vadodara. She has been the recipient of several awards, appreciating her contribution from socio-cultural and educational organizations, both in Baroda and Gujarat State. 
I take this opportunity to invite Mrs. Stage Lamine, Chairperson, Navrachna Education Society, to formally welcome this audience. Respected Dr. M. H. Mehta, recipient of the Padma Shri, and I'm proud to say, member of the Board of Management of Navrachna University, a leading agro-scientist of our country, Sri R. J. Patel, distinguished scientist and head refueling division of BARC, Sri P. M. Shah, Chief Project Engineer of Nuclear Power Corporation, India Limited, Sri R. K. Singh, Head Media Relations and Public Awareness Section of BARC, Sri Jai Shah, Sri Naresh Kumar, Officials of BARC and NPC, our Provost, Professor Abir Malik, our Board of Governor member, Dr. Thakkar, our deans of various schools of Navrachna University, heads of departments, professors and teachers from various schools and science departments who are with us here today. And finally, but most importantly, Dear, dear students, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to welcome our esteemed guests, our speakers, and all of you to this very special seminar and exhibition of BARC and Nuclear Power Corporation held under the auspices of the Atom Department of Atomic Energy, Government of India. We also feel privileged and we are grateful that BARC and NPC chose Navrachna University for presenting this event to students and teachers of science in our city. Golden Jubilee of the Department of Atomic Energy, Government of India, is a, I'm sorry, the Diamond Jubilee, is a landmark that each and every one of us, every Indian, should be proud of. This organization has quietly and steadily, over the last six decades, contributed immensely to the growth and development of our country, to its security, as well as toward, towards improving the quality of the life of every Indian. This initiative is unique and novel and very timely because nuclear te technology today, more than at any other time, is poised and has the potential to make even further contribution, or I would say nuclear technology is imperative today to the growth of our nation. I was reading somewhere that our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, when he addressed the celebrations of the Diamond Jubilee at the Department of Atomic Energy, he indicated that it would be a good idea to create awareness amongst the younger generation, students of science particularly, and their teachers about the benefits of nu nuclear technology. And in that connection, we are here today to dispel the, the very dark or uh, fearful image and understanding that we have of the effects of nuclear technology. Threats of war, the atomic bomb explosions, 
accidents at nuclear power plants and the death and disease that they cause or can cause, the pollution of air, water and soil on account of the radioactivity that emanates from such disasters and so on. Very few of us know the positive and the beneficial effects or contributions, I would say, of nuclear technology. Over the last 60 years, the department through its various organizations of which BARC and NPC are just two uh, arms. This is an umbrella, it's an organization, umbrella organization which has many, many departments under it. They're, they have contributed immensely to agriculture, especially in the enhancement of uh, oil seeds and uh, uh, production of oil seeds and other grains, especially pulses. Food security through radioactive processing of uh, agro products and agro based foods. We all know that cancer can be cured or can be halted or controlled through radiation, which is again a technology emanating from nuclear uh, research and development. Tremendous other contribution in healthcare. We know that India's energy requirement far outstrips the demand of what is being produced today. Mr. Shah was sharing with us that if India prospers and if energy is to reach each and every human being, our conventional energy producing means, cold based power plants, even renewable and other means are not going to cater or fulfill the right to energy of every citizen of our country. Nuclear energy is a safe option with a lot of safeguards that have been built in. It's a cheaper option and a quicker option. If we do not address our energy needs through nuclear technology, in 50 or 60 years, coal reserves are going to go and we could become a dark nation. Over the next two days and in this seminar, our eminent speakers will clear and give a better understanding of what nuclear technology is, what it means to us and where it can take us. Many of you here hopefully will be inspired and become scientists propelling the nation towards prosperity and growth. The exhibition is a very, very vast exhibition. There are lots of models, interactive models. There are very good posters. And students will have, a, have the opportunity to ask questions and clear their doubts and gain insight into the immense contribution that nuclear technology can make, has, is making, and will make in the coming decades. The Department of Atomic Energy also has an education arm. They have set up institutes, world-class institutes to study science. Some of you may take up science as their careers, and please look at these options. I know for a fact that BARC has been endeavoring to promote science amongst school students through the Olympiads that they design. And many of our students and teachers have attended these Olympiads and we have learned how to frame questions, Mr. Patel, uh, from the interaction with the scientists and the teachers at BARC's education department. Once again, I extend a warm welcome to our speakers and to all of you students and teachers. Please take the message that nuclear technology, first of all, understand that it is safe and good for us and take this message back to your schools and tomorrow come back or send more back to look at the exhibition 
and learn from it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. That was Mrs. Tejal Amin, Chairperson, Navrachna Education Society. I now request Professor Abir Malik, Provost Navrachna University, to give away the mementos. I request the students of the BSc program to kindly come forward. I request Professor M Malik to give the memento to our guest of honor, Dr. M. H. Mehta. Thank you, sir. I request, sir, to give the memento to our chief guest of today, Sri R.J. Patel, distinguished scientist and head, Refueling Technology Division, Bhabha Atomic Research Center. Thank you, sir.